Okay guys, here's your workout for today. All right, you're gonna start today's workout with five minutes of cardio, which you guys know can be a rowing machine, a elliptical machine, a treadmill, tempo run, you could run outdoors, uh, it could be jump rope, okay? Any type of cardio that you have access to for five minutes. Then you're gonna go to floor press, okay? Right to left, it's gonna be a ladder. Each round you're gonna increase by two repetitions. So you'll start with two reps, two on the right, two on the left. Then you're gonna to go to reverse suitcase lunges, right and left, same thing. Two on the right, two on the left, okay? Then you're gonna to go to round two, you go to floor press, four on each side. Reverse suitcase lunges, also four on each side. Round three is six of each, round four is eight of each, and round five, you're gonna do 10 of each, the floor press and the reverse suitcase lunges. Okay, when you complete that, you'll finish with another five minutes of cardio. Again, your choice on the cardio, it could be the same thing, you can mix it up and do something different if you like. All right guys, let's cover today's exercises. There's only two. Remember the floor press and the reverse suitcase lunges. Floor press, you're gonna start in that fetal position. Okay, both feet up. You're just gonna press that kettlebell straight up. Okay, you're gonna pull it down. Use your lats to pull it down. Nice control movement. Lock that elbow at the top. Keep your wrist straight. Okay, your elbow should come to about a 45 degree angle away from your body on the uh, end of it. Remember, safety-wise, switch that kettlebell to the other side, go around the top of your head, don't go across your body. Reverse suitcase lunges. If you're lunging back with your right leg, you're gonna hold on to the kettlebell with your right hand, okay? Tall chest, long spine, big lunge back. Again, nice control movement. You can just switch hands and keep going. All right, your turn, good luck.